When we had last left Team Bald, they had finally found some measure of refuge within the Shadow Cursed Lands. It was there that they ran into none other than Shahira, legendary hero of yore and some sort of leader of the Harpers in the area. And it was there that they also ran into many of the refugees. Yes, the very same from the uh, the Green Grove, the Ever Grove, the Evergreen Grove <laughs> from not too long ago. Yeah, all, all of the, well, not all of them, but many of the tieflings were there, including none other than Damon, the smith who could wield infernal metals and ply them to Karlak's breaking heart. But thankfully, they were able to supply some metal and the heart got fixed up. And Karlak was able to finally touch other people once more. Also, there was a cow that was weird again, and it turned out to be a goop. Now, now it was time to look around the last light in. This is Baldur's Gate 3. Welcome back. There we go. Let me unhide all that. Great. And let's do a quick save and head over and check it out. Let's see. Talked with Harper, Callie, or Kaylee. Okay. Sure. Oh, Astarians pass without traces like a aura. Huh. Harper Tumoril. Best head inside. There's food and warmth to spare. Okay. I'd not tarry out here, were I you. Yeah, the force field seems fine. For now. <laughs> right, right. Is it gonna come down? Is it actually gonna come down? Whoa. Dark Maul the Wicked. Stuffed boar head. Premium trinkets and doodars. Oh, is this who I think it is? Mattis? The bear's limbs look like they were broken to fit this pose. Its eyes sad and lifeless. Aww. That's why we're still Poor Dark Maw the Wicked. Is that Dark Maw the Wicked? I don't believe it. His territory ran from the wood of sharp teeth to cloakwood. Took half an army to drive him out. How did Just he end up like here? Best bargains right here. Huh. Apparently, I know of this creature. These other ones, not so much. A sign? The last light in does not permit the bearing of arms. For the safety of all patrons, please leave your weapons at the door. Okay. What about the wardrobe here? Aloe oil. Made from the succulent flowering plant, this oil is about as useful on your journey as a false nose to cl a clown protest group. What? It's about as useful as a false nose to a clown protest group? So it's an insult? Hmm. Okay. Appreciably cared for boots. Scoot away from this. <laughs> Alright. These boots are well maintained and cleaned, though their soles are thin from wear. Snug purple shirt. Purple as tasty plums shared by a camp tent. Umber trousers. An ensemble very fitting for a relaxing sit by the campfire, whereupon stories are exchanged generally over hip flasks. Okay. Who should we send these to? Umber? Probably purple should go to Gale. Uh, oh, these are just regular shoes. Okay. I'm sending that to camp. These, I guess, we'll give to... Starion? Why not? Uh, I don't know. Maybe... Who would like umber trousers? I don't know. We'll send a camp. We'll look at them. Mind. Um, well, in it. Potion of invisibility. Trap disarm toolkit. Potion of greater healing. Hand crossbow. A guest log. It's redolent. Let's read it. Jorah and Claudette Amster. Jezo Dominguez. Grey Eyes the Wizened, Arthena Duchamp, 
Elo Uher. Boo and friend. Hmm. The mysterious Mr. Plaque. DJ Mulligan? Alkai Elope and Miles Lotz. Alice Gregor. Jame and Ann Byrne. Grace D- and Dylan Cove. Art Kulag. Okay. Last light's best bargains right here. Are Boo and Minsk here? Hang on. Oh shit, yeah, I know you. Okay. Oh, and Barkus Root. His Majesty. Shit, there's all kinds of people here. This is very, um... Feeling a lot like the Friendly Arm Inn. Is that the one I'm thinking of from Baldur's Gate Past? Okay, Mattis, let's take a look. Welcome to our humble... Wait, are you Karlak? No, I'm lying. A lot of us were She's in back there. We saw you fighting. You were so good. Well, I, uh... Yeah. I guess I was. I mean, you should avoid fighting for devils if you can. But if you can't, it helps to have a good right hook. Mm. I saw you lay out a more demon in two hits. Bam! Bam! We were all like, whoa! <laughs> How'd you learn to fight like that? Had to. Life didn't pull any punches. It was up to me to learn to take a hit and deal one back. I've been tossed around a lot too. Uh, I want to learn how to fight back too. From the look of things, you've got your wits about you. A clever mind and a bit of style will take you a long way. Fight with those and you may find you never need to use your fists at all. In that case... Want to buy a lucky ring I found? <laughs> okay. Ha! Nice try, Shorty. Keep it up, though, and you'll be scamming with the greats in no time. Scamming with the greats? What kind of advice is that? Come on. Could you imagine if my character said that? Jeez. Kid really looks up to you. It's nice to see. You were too nice to that little runt. Leave. Kid really looks up to you. It's nice to see. It is, isn't it? <sighs> Hope he makes it out of this mess with his wits in one piece. I'd like to see him set up in a proper home in the city. Every kid deserves that. Aww. Premium. Check it out. Oh. We've gone legitimate, and Mom put click. me in charge. What do you need? You've gone legitimate. You got any stock for any special, extra special customer like me? Yours is the first happy face I've seen in a good while. Let me see what you have. Leave. You got any stock for an extra special customer like me? Hmm. I'm not supposed to mention it to anyone. But I do have something pretty special in stock. A key. What does it look like? What does it open? What treasures await behind its lock? That's for one lucky buyer to find out. Mom gave it to me and said I shouldn't let it go to just any old jack a day. I'd like to buy it from you. Deception. Mole said I could have it. Persuasion. If it was worth any coin, do you think Mole would have given it to you? Take good care of that key. Huh. Hmm. I don't know if I want to deceive them, right? I'll try to persuade. If it was worth any coin, do you think Mole would have given it to you? You know, honor among thieves and all that. I mean, maybe. Hand it over, now. Persuasion. Mole knows it'll be safer with me, and so do you. Insight. With all the other fabulous things you found in this inn, why hold on to a dusty old key? <laughs> Fuck it, let's try it again. Okay. Wow, it's only six. But she put me in charge of the shop. I, I thought... <sighs> Never mind. Here. You can have it then. Oh my gosh! No, I don't like that. that that's not the... the, the thing. Nah, I don't know about that. I don't know about that. The kid seems so dejected. Right? 
Am I willing to reload for that? I, I think I am. I think I actually am. That felt, that didn't feel correct, right? Yeah, let's go back here. Let's go back. I'm will I'm willing to forego that. That did not play out the way I thought it was going to play out. I'll just buy the fucking key, right? Rather than play a little trick here. It feels wrong after all we've been through, right? Okay. Let's see over here. Don't waste the step. He better be. Good. Now I do have to make sure that we've done all this again. Not as long as we can put up a fight with Best head inside. Okay. I'd not tell. Right, because like I even I even explicitly said we want to sort of adhere to like honor among thieves, as it were. Is that dark more the wicked? I don't believe it. His territory ran from the wood of sharp teeth to cloakwood. Took half an army to drive him out. How did he end up here? Okay, then over the here. Last light in does not permit the bearing of arms. For the Brilliant safety of all patrons, doodah. please leave your weapons at the door. Okay, let's quick save again. Mattis. Welcome to our humble. Okay. A lot of yep. Well, I saw you. How'd you? <laughs> I've been from the yada fight yada. Ah, nice try, Shorty. That's nice to see. It is. And then... Check it out. We've gone legitimate, and Mole put me in charge. Got any extra special mean? stock? Hmm. I'm not supposed to mention it to anyone. But I do have something pretty special in stock. What does it look like? What did... Mole gave it to me, and said okay. I shouldn't let it go to just any old jackaday. All right, sure, I'll buy it from you. This is a... <clears throat> Valuable piece, so it's gonna cost a lot, and that is non neg non. The price isn't changing. That's way too little. Here, keep the change. Two thousand. You drive a hard bargain, but it's a deal. No chance. That's too much. I'll be back with the money. Wow, we can even give over extra money. Huh. No chance, that's too much. As Mole would say, suit yourself. Last light's best huh. bargains, right? Okay. What are you looking for? Let's see. Yours is the first happy face I've seen in a good while. I'm alive, ain't I? What's not to like? Okay, let's see what you have. Is it actually for sale here? No, it really is extra special. As far as we know. Spoon of saltiness. When salting food, the bearer of this shadow-cursed utensil will always add too little or too much, but never the right amount. Truly, the deviousness is top tier. Sending shell. Faint whispers creep this sending shell. Creep from this sending shell when you hold it close, yet the method of sending messages from it is unclear. Fishing rod of alertness. The wielder of this rod cannot be surprised, unless something unexpected happens. Decanter of nearly endless water. This decanter can, in fact, sometimes run out of endless water. However, it will definitely regain its properties next day, the day after for sure. A boiled potato. Arrow of sparrow slaying. Magic weapon. Meant to slay a particular kind of creature. Sparrows, in this case. The arrow will grievously wound sparrows it hits. The poor wee winged fellows. Tarbell's Guide to Distractions. A much-read guide to chicanery, stagecraft, and earning, earning a quick coin. Okay. Evasive boots or shoes. Oh, plus one AC. Huh. Plus one acrobatics, too. Rogues in Waterdeep prefer these spring-loaded boots that make evading the city watch a breeze. Well, we should probably get that. Cloak of Cunning Broom. When the wearer disengages, they also create a foggy cloud with two-meter radius that lasts for one turns. 
Oh, this is a good way to, like, engage with obscuration. Right? That may actually be decent. Huh. Yeah, what if we gave that to a Starian? Right? Because cunning action lets you do a disengage for a bonus action, right? Hmm. One of the relics of Deep Duera's rebellious children. The children found nothing of use in the vault and were discouraged. But in the morning, the vault keykeeper's son, who admired the children, sought them out, and in his arms he brought a wealth of things, forged in shadow. And the rest seem like regular items, Potion of Invis, Elixir of Colossus, Necrotic Resist, Diluted Oil of Sharpness. Yeah. Okay. Oh, well, let's buy the boots. And that. Should I also buy the book? Fuck it, I'll do it. Okay. Balance Offer. Do I have any other wares to add here? I do have a couple. Okay. And we'll take that. Sure. Let's see if we can talk to Mole first about the mysterious key. And these rings are the same ones as before. Right? Yeah. Pleasure doing business with you. Don't be shy. Have a gander at the finest stock. Okay. Hmm. Then... I think maybe we give these new boots to Carlac. No? Yeah. Because they don't even count as actual armor. Pretty good. Alright. And then... This cloak we should give to Astarian. Do we have any other items that have a proc on... What do you call it? Oh, look. Did this scale up? Gloves of Missile Snaring? Weren't they 1d4? I feel like, yeah, I feel like they scaled up a ton. Huh. Good to know. Okay. Sure. Okay. Let's read this book real quick. Tarbell's Guide. A comprehensive and practical guide to the craft of stage magic called Tarbell's Guide to Distractions. Creased pages indicate a much-read excerpt entitled Making Money with Magic. The wise magician knows never to perform for free. Too many already rush to our call. To call our craft cheap or second rate, and point to arch, wizard, arch wizards as true masters of the arcane. Indeed, should any of those fine personages ever descend from their lofty towers to catch a show, they too think to lecture humble practitioners on matters of the art. The wise magician nods, smiles, and gently reminds such luminaries that true magic does not derive from staffs, grimoires, or very fine hats from hard work and persistence to the craft. This ought to inspire a response of such animated and gesticulated proportion that your assistant will have ample time to rifle through overburdened pockets. Thus, the wise magician demonstrates the importance of a good distraction, and the arch wizard learns a valuable lesson in humility. Ah, very good. Okay. Pop that in there. Nope. No dice. Good. Okay. Cool. Let's do a quick save. Yeah, if we find Mole, that'll be... That'll be helpful, I think. But I don't know where they would be. Back here, maybe? I don't want to give you a lesson, no. but I will, damn it! Uh. Okay. 
Don't wander far. We need to talk. Okay, we will. Saris? Thought you'd be ten yards tall the way Zevlor spoke of you. <laughs> oh, Saris, take it easy. Scout. Seems we missed one another at the grove, but the others told me how you helped us. A pity. You pulled them from one death trap only for me to land them in this one. What happened? Where is Zevlor? The inn is old, but death trap is a bit much. So you managed to miss all that trouble at the grove? Convenient. What happened? Where is Zevlor? Gone. And more than half the others with him. We were ambushed out in the cursed lands. Cultists of this absolute. Zevlor froze, begged us to surrender. But they were toying with us, making examples. And we'd had enough of taking it. Those of us who cut free just kept running till we found this place. The others, maybe the cult got them. Maybe the curse. Hmm. Have hope. You survived. I'm sure the others did too. So, you abandoned them? You did right. You do not want to be a prisoner of the Absolute. What are you doing out here to begin with? You were bound for Baldur's Gate. Yeah, what are you all doing out here? This army of the Absolute is growing and flowing towards Moonrise. There's worse than goblins on the roads now. I thought we might pass unnoticed along the fringes of this place, escape the owlbear by hiding in its shadow, so to speak. You can see exactly how well that went. Don't lose hope. The others might still be alive. Sounds like you've made a right mess of things. Still, you're here. Better than being a prisoner of the Absolute. Let's be a little optimistic. Better than being a prisoner of the Absolute. Prison's the best I can hope for the ones we left behind. Zevlor seemed to think the cult wanted us alive. I almost mm. hope he never found out why. Okay. Anything else? Watch your back out there. If it's not the cult coming for you, it'll be the shadows. Okay. Oh, hey, is this who I think it is? Yeah, <laughs> this is the bard. Okay. Let's do a quick save. Alfira. I speak up. Don't be shy. Have a gander at the finest. Everyone else might welcome you with open arms, but stay the hells away from me, you loot smashing asshole! <laughs> wow, there's actually reactivity to everyone else liking me, except her. Is that what that was? Oh my gosh, that's kind of incredible. Is anything else? No. Everyone else might welcome you with open arms. But stay the hell <laughs> away from me, you loot smashing asshole. <laughs> you loot smashing asshole. Fuck, I love it. Oh my god, I love it so much. Okay, Here blackboard. A faded advertisement, its message still faintly legible. Fresh veg and fancy fruit. Buy two, get one free. Controls report more activity get among the, the cultists. Hand me the right, best right here. Here. And I don't want to give you a lashing, but I will, damn it. Okay, Roland, what's going on here? What's going on? There's another bottle of Arabellan Dry back there. Put it on the bar, then piss off and leave me alone. Jahira said we should serve drinks, but that we shouldn't serve drunks. Oh. Jahira didn't save your ragged little tail from the cultists. I did. You saved the kid? Sounds like you deserve a drink. The kid's right. You need to lay off the liquor. Want to talk about your sorrows instead of drowning them? This feels appropriate for my character. Let's talk about it. I'd rather drown than talk to a sanctimonious prick like you. <laughs> if you're here to save the day again, you're a little late this time. I heard about the attack in the Shadowlands. I am here to help. <sighs> I am getting tired of having to swoop in and rescue you all. Look, I just want to get out of this cursed hellhole. Look, I just want to get out of here too. That's all I wanted, back at the Grove. But you had other ideas. 
Carl and Leo are taken in by your crap. You convinced them to play hero, and now they're gone. Oh, uh, they were with Zevlor, I guess. Do you know where they are? I'm sorry. Then it's my responsibility to bring them back. Stop whining and do something about it. Do you know where they are? Dead for all I know. Or in the cult's tower with the others who are taken. They're better off dead than in the cult's hands. If they're alive, I'll rescue them. I'm sorry. If they're alive, I'll rescue them. They're my responsibility. You go save the world. Or your own ass, Or whatever it is you do. I'll fix this. Okay. Oh, we got to see in here momentarily. Harper who? Boar. Good to see you're still breathing. It's the best we can hope for. Okay. Anything else? Nope. Well, if I talk to you again, Roland. I don't need your help, and I don't need your pity. It's too late. You've already got a bit of my pity. All right. How about you? Ide? Ide? This is about Roland. Go away! I'm sorry he was mean. Ignore Roland. He's just a grump. No need to snap at me. Actually, I just wanted a drink. Whoa! No need to snap at me! Sorry. Roland snapped too, and I didn't like it. Which he shouldn't have done. I don't blame him. He wanted a drink and you wouldn't serve him. Roland isn't very good with kids. Which he shouldn't have done. Right! He went through three bottles before I told him to stop. It was for his own good. He can barely stand up straight. Hmm. Yeah, I feel like telling a kid that someone else isn't good with kids in this exact context also makes you not too great with kids <laughs> you know it's another way of of like i don't know i don't know how you would say it like othering the kid and making them feel like excluded rather than included if that makes any sense i get it you were trying to look after him a drunk wizard's a dangerous thing all that uncontrolled power stop interfering just stay out of his way and mine i get it you were trying to look after him yeah he did save us, after all. Anyway, it's his loss. What do you mean, his loss? He'll be losing his mind and his lunch if he keeps drinking like that. How about a drink for me instead? Sure it is. See you around, kid. What do you mean, his loss? I found this book. Old, dusty, full of strange lettering. Pretty sure it's magic. I was going to give it to Roland so he could learn new spells, you know? Beats drinking till he forgets the ones he knows. Can I have it? Why don't you keep it for yourself? It's a great gift. I'm sure he'll love it. Okay. <laughs> could I have it? It's for Roland. Deception. If you give it to me, I'll make sure he gets it. Intimidation. Give it to me, you brat, now. Do you really want to give it to him now? After how he acted. Never mind. Leave. I don't want to lie to the kid, right? It feels wrong to lie to a kid unless... Right? There needs to be some sort of extreme, extreme circumstance. Do you really want to give it to him? After how he acted. There we go. Whew. Fine. Hey. Huh? Where is it? Uh-oh. I must have dropped it. Well, you can look for it if you want. Hmm. Anyway, I'm sick of talking. You can go now. Bye-bye. All right, what about this other kid? I tried telling Mr. Roland that he'd had enough too. He didn't like it then either. <laughs> I like Umi. Mr. Well, Roland isn't in a very good mood. Okay. Doing her best. He shows no signs of Who else is in here? A uh, mole is sitting with Raphael. Oh, they're playing a game. Oh. Okay. Well, all right. I guess we'll talk to Jahira. 
What's the worst that could happen? Surely we'll be able to keep talking to people, right? Map of the Shadowlands. Oh. An old map of the region, which was corrected by hand as the surroundings were explored. The notes include, The entrance to the city is blocked by a powerful curse. Moonrise, a hub of wickedness. Toll house, embankment, point of attack, distillery, supplies, abandoned house. The shadows lengthen. Alright, Jahiro, what's going on? Please, be welcome. Have a drink. Oh. My. Gods. <laughs> to your very good health. To your very good health. Medicine. Smell the wine first. You'll have to pardon my friend Carlac. She's very excited to meet you. I'm not thirsty. We need to bring up Carlac. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's an honor, milady. <laughs> I will gladly drink to your health as well, Garlac. Okay. Hmm. Should I smell the wine first? Oh, fuck it, let's do it. Why not? Whew. You perceive a faint hint of cloth grass, a herb that is said to elicit the truth. Jahira smiles at oh. you. Oh. Okay. Doesn't spoil the taste, if that's what you're wondering. Oh, very clever. Okay. I I love. I love when someone gets caught in a deception. Right. The best kind of lies and deceptions are ones where you get caught in the middle of doing them. Right, some kind of trickery, but it doesn't matter, right? Because otherwise, to acknowledge or to decline it would be worse than going with it, right? Like whether or not she tricked you and dece deceived you either way, right? The, her trick is too well prepared, you know? No, but it spoils my trust. Drink the wine. Decline to drink. Eh, I'll drink the wine. Blood thumbs up. Astarian and Shadowheart did not like that. Well over a century old, and yet it hasn't lost a hint of flavor. Still not quite so sure about you, though. People tend to lose more than just flavor when illithids get their hands on them. I speak from experience. As an air about you, something alien. Answer me true and do not lie. The parasite is changing you, isn't it? I see now why you spiked my wine. Yes, the parasite is giving me powers I never had before. It's changing me for the better. It's trying to change me to win me over, but I'm resisting its temptations. Saving throw. Despite knowing you're under the effects of a drug, try to deny the tadpole has any influence over you. Saving throw? Oh, constitution. Huh. Bard. I've done so much since the crash. Who's to say it's the tadpole that's changed me? <laughs> Let's we have to say that. Wait, that's so in character. Come on, we gotta say that. I've done so much since the crash. Who's to say it's the tadpole that's changed me? You speak frivolously. I do not believe you grasp the cost of what we're dealing with. Look around you. Good men, good women. Stranded here, two feet in the grave. If we're to survive, I have no choice but to trust you. Can I? What did you cast? What was that? You can trust me. What happened to me being the godsend you've been praying for? I'm interested in saving my own skin, not yours. Whether you trust me is immaterial. What happened to me being the godsend you've been praying for? That was a public display of hope. Ah. Uh. Despite private reservations. I have every reason to be cautious. I've traced people like you. People with parasites in their brains. All the way here from Baldur's Gate. The cult of the Absolute is spreading through the city. Quietly, quickly, and with unsettling deliberation. 
We tracked them to this ancient village, only to be faced with a man we killed and buried over a century ago. Who was... is he? If he's back, perhaps you should have hit him harder in the first place. Bard, tales of the undead are often exaggerated. You're sure you killed him? Who? General Gadric Thorm. Remember that name. He's the leader of the Absolutists. Mm. He was a Sharan once. Took to building an army of dark justicians in this very village. One or two. Alongside the local druids, think. we made it our business to see him deposed, dead and buried. But he's returned. Not only does General Ketherick Thorn live again, it seems he is no longer mortal. He has become, in fact, invincible. We met him on the road here, commanding an army of the Absolute intent on destroying Baldur's Gate. I put an arrow through his eye myself, only to watch him pluck it out like a splinter. He healed right in front of me and chased us into the shadows. Things looked hopeless, but experience has taught me that no matter how bleak things look, there's always hope. You are that hope. What do you have in mind? <laughs> you think I can kill him? I don't think so. <laughs> you think I can kill him? Not immediately. Protected by your artifact, you can infiltrate his forces at Moonrise Towers Posing as a true soul. Find out what it is that makes him invincible, so we can strip him of his advantage. Once Gatherick is without his shield, the sword, together we assault his tower and put a final end to this blight. Gatherick's days are numbered. I'll make sure of it. You want to make use of my infection. I want to be cured of it. Seems like I'll be doing most of the heavy lifting. Bard. The glorious true soul Lyle will be the performance of a lifetime. I'm not doing this. I like this the most. You want to make use of my infection. I want to be cured of it. Any cure starts with understanding the disease. Whatever magic Gatherick's using to control these tadpoles, it must be at moonrise. Until then... We keep drinking wine when we meet. Hmm. Before you go, there's somebody else you should meet. Oh? You're not our only secret weapon. Isabel. Oh. A faithful cleric of Seluna. And a light in the darkness. She cast the moon shield around the inn. It's the only reason we're still alive. She's upstairs in her chambers. Tell her I sent you. And she'll see you through the shadows safely. I already have a lantern that protects me from the darkness. Leave. I already have a lantern. I'm sure it's very fine. But lanterns have a tricky habit of going out when you need them. Let's not spurn what few gifts the gods choose to give us, hmm? Okay, I guess I couldn't bring up the pixie. Anything else I can talk to you about? The shadows haven't consumed you. Good. Nothing new to report, but the search continues. I want to ask you about something. Leave. Can we talk? Then speak. I've heard your name before. Where? How did the Harpers first learn of the Absolute? I've heard your name before. Where? Ugh, some crusty ballad monger, I expect. Huh. They have me slaying gods. <laughs> okay, or take it easy. With them, depending on the bard. I feel your pain. My companion Volo is loose with the truth, too. I heard it was both. So which was it? You don't seem overly pleased to be remembered. So which was it? Pro they probably won't commit to a canon version of BG2. So which was it? There are as many versions of a tale as there are people to tell it. Let that satisfy you. And anyway... The heroics of old have done seemingly little to safeguard the present. We fight, mm, okay. we die, and we just hope that when our time comes, there is someone else to take our place. Stirring words. Is that how you inspire your harpers? 
sure you made more of a surely you made more of a difference than that. Let me guess. I'm someone else. Leave. Surely you made more of a difference than that. The songs would have you believe we saved the realms entire. Perhaps we did. They simply refused to stay saved. Hmm. Okay. Can we talk about more? The shadows haven't consumed you. Good. Can we talk about then something? Speak. How did the Harpers first learn of the Absolute? The same way Harpers learn of anything. Poking noses where they don't belong. We sent an agent to infiltrate this cult. <laughs> the latest fad among the city's bored nobility, I thought. Until that same agent returned and tried to plant a knife in my neck. My first encounter with a true soul. I'm glad ours ended on friendlier terms. From there, I made some inquiries of my own. Saw firsthand how easily the cult could turn friend to foe with but the twist of a tadpole. And so I gathered my harpers and came to the source. Moonrise Towers. Alright, good talk. Can we do a trade? Oh, you don't really have anything. Fair enough. Okay, see ya! Last light's best bargain. Let's do a quick right save here. after that. Esmaltar Red. On the Greater Healing Potion. Can't reach it. Carlac, can you reach it to just take a peek in there? Nope. Okay, fair enough. No one stopped me yet. Sylvanas's Blessing has proficiency in nature and animal handling. Oh, right, because of the, the idol that we had gotten from Mole, who was just over there. Okay, you two. Don't be shy. Have a gander at the finest stock. Well, well, well. Your move, Maul. You trap me. I didn't even want to take this one. Kalim Shan rules, dear. The first piece touched is the first piece moved. That's garbage. No matter where the night goes, I'm going to lose it. Then make the sacrifice useful. Guard your mistra or come for my Cyric. What's going on here? Look who made it! For once, I saved your butt out there, didn't I? We're square now, Chief. Mm. Say, do you play lance ball by any chance? It's my first time playing. The keen gleam in Mole's eyes reveals the lie. She knows the game well, and she wants to win. Fall back. Protect your queen above anything else. You shouldn't be playing games with this man. He's a devil. Sorry, kid. I've never played Lance Board. Slight, sleight of hand. Accidentally jostled the board Mole's way. Bard. Kalimshan fell because its nobility got cocky. Put pressure on his king. Huh. <laughs> should I do sleight of hand here? I feel like I should. Well, he might tell. He might be able to know. You know? Mm. Hmm. 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 Let's do the bard check. Kalimshan fell because its nobility got cocky. Put pressure on his king. My, the Thescan double counter gambit. Vicious. <laughs> exactly what I would have done. Oh, Starian and Karlak like that. How's that for Kalimsham rules? Brava. Lovely work. I see I was right to make you the offer I did. Mm. You will consider it, won't you? What a lovely specimen she is. A blushing apple begging to be plucked. Please let me smack this creep. The Thescan move suggestion was inspired. I had no idea you played. There is plenty about me you have no idea about. 
Is that why you're here? To play games? Just bugger off back to hell, would you? Bard. A list of my many hidden talents would stretch to Avernus and back. Hmm. Is that why you're here? To play games? To play the game. The vast lance board of souls. But don't you worry about Moll. It goes without saying she still has the unconditional freedom to choose the only option she has left. <laughs> now, let's talk about you. I sense there's something you want to ask me. Right. I do. I have a proposal for you. A proposal? <laughs> if you're hoping to taste my blood, little vampling, think again. It burns hotter than wyvern whiskey. This is serious business. Devil. My old, well, a long time ago, someone carved some runes into my back. I'd rather like to know what they say. Hmm. What are you talking about, Astarian? What scars? Don't play games, Raphael. Help him out. This is a bad idea, Astarian. We should find another way. I don't think he knows. Let's let's let Raphael in on the fact that we don't know what the hell's going on here. Fuck it. What are you talking about? What scars? You haven't told them. And you've kept your clothes on this whole time. How unlike you. Why not let them see? Don't be shy. God damn it. Don't worry. Mm. I'm motivated to help you. Scars often tell such Wonderful stories. I think yours might be truly exquisite. I'll see you soon. Well, now you know. <laughs> Why didn't you tell me earlier? I could have helped. God, the carving must have been excruciating. All I know is you have us doing odd jobs for a devil. Hmm. All I know is you have us doing odd jobs for a devil. It could be infinitely worse. We seem rather good at killing things. Let's just go. Standing here chatting gets us nowhere. Although I... I should probably get dressed first. <laughs> hmm. Okay. Can we talk about that at all? Always a pleasure. What can I do for you, my friend? No. Not yet, at least. Anything with Carlac? Hey, you. Okay. Shadowheart, any takes? Shah's blessings upon you. Oh, we can ask about Ketherick Thorn. What do you think of him? Difficult to say. A fellow servant of the Night Singer would surely be an ally to me under most circumstances. Oh. But something doesn't add up. I'll need to see where his allegiances truly lie. Okay. Good talk. Well, Bra Barkus Root is up with you. Ah, you found your way. Good. What are you doing here? I did, though with a few hiccups along the way. I told you I'd help rescue Wolbrin and the others. This is my first stop. I hadn't expected to find this place. I'm trying to find... I'm trying to get into the towers. What are you doing here? I thought I'd scout ahead. Check for any nasty surprises. Of which I found a great deal. And what did you find? What's that you're making? And what did you find? Shades. Death. Harpers. Flaming fist. And this, of course. And the makings of an alchemist's workbench. Ingredients, too. 
there's a recipe I'm trying to replicate. Something that might help you. That is, if you're still going to help Wolbrin and the others. Of course I am. Depends. What did you say you were making? Depends. What did you say you were making? A new type of smoke powder. All the bang and boom of the original, but with an extra surprise. I call it the brilliant retort. You'll mm. need it if you're going to survive this cursed place. You'll need it if you're going to get into Moonrise Towers and help the Deep Gnomes taken prisoner there. You'll need it if you're going to save Wolbrin. I thought that was your mission. How did the Deep Gnomes get trapped in the towers? I have more important things to do. Wolbrin who? How did the Deep Gnomes get trapped in the towers? They didn't get trapped. They were kidnapped. Taken against their will by those cultists. If I ever get my hands on one of them... Well... With you on the job, perhaps I won't have to find out. I'll do my part according to my talents. And you... I hope we'll do yours. The brilliant retort will aid you. Thus, I will make it. Anything I can do to help? I like the name. What's it do? When will it be ready? Sounds good, but I haven't forgotten. You also promised me a reward once I saved your friend. Leave. Hmm. Sounds good, but I haven't forgotten. You also promised me a reward once I've saved your friend. Nor have I. Everything in its due course, hmm? First, the brilliant retort. Then, Wolbrin. Then, your reward. Okay, well, I like the name. What's it do? Let's not ruin the surprise, hmm? You... you do whatever it is you do. Some of us are counting on you. Okay. Can I talk to you again? What now? Is the brilliant retort ready? No. And pestering the craftsman won't speed things up. Okay, can we trade? I'm sure you would. Oh, you've got equipment too. Gloves of the automaton. Strength saving throws plus one. Circuitry interface. Huh. Lena the many times married, would use these gloves to blend in with the statues in her courtyard. This would allow her to avoid her plethora of husbands. Anything for a moment's peace. Circuitry interface? You're considered a construct. Your weapon attack rolls have advantage, and you have resistance to lightning damage. Oh. Huh. Weird, but it's only once per short rest. So theoretically, you could have it happen every encounter, unless there's one that goes on for very long. Acrobat shoes. Acrobatics plus one. Advantage on dex. Saving throw. These flexible shoes were once owned by Audrey... Audrey Ann Willows, who, in a somewhat ironic twist of fate, ran away from the circus to join her parents back home. Mm. Ring of geniality. Plus one deception, plus one persuasion. Glibness is not only in the tongue, but in the body. Gesture is powerful. Think of how many words of comfort can be stored and saved when a hug will do just as sweetly. Hmm... I do like the idea of that. Right? Eh, we'll hold off. Premium trinkets and doodah. Arrow of dragon slaying, humanoid slaying. Marcus's log. A well maintained but evidently weather worn journal containing the notes of one Marcus Root. Can I read it? No. Okay. Well, fair enough. Now, if you're done rifling through my things... Last light's best okay, right what about here. His Majesty? Hiss! I say hiss! Whoa! Easy, kitty, I mean you no harm. It's got your whiskers in a twist. 
Intimidation. Hiss. <laughs> Leave. Easy, kitty. I mean you no harm. And yet you harm me by your very presence. This is uh, my territory, and you're in it. Apologies. I'll keep my distance. My intentions are pure. I only want to admire you up close. I see your point. Barkus is permitted, and I'm not. Back away. Barkus is permitted, and I'm not. Precisely. Huh. My intentions are pure. Mm, I'll allow it. Well, quite the specimen you are. How did you come to this place? Quietly admire the cat. You seem like someone who knows what he's about. Heard anything interesting around here? Let's ask that. Good of you to notice. For my part, I have noticed the cleric is a liar. She what? promised me a bit of milk. Do you see any milk, do you? Uh -uh. Nor do I. Disgraceful. How did you come to this place? I slinked, of course. Okay, I will quietly admire the cat. You've had enough. Now go. Quickly. Yes. <laughs> okay, bye. <laughs> All right. Best be on my way. Is there anyone else on this floor? I think there was, wasn't there? Like in the back area. And there's also an outdoor balcony. Anything in this barrel? Rotten cheese. Okay. Damaged vase. We need to catch up with Mole again, though, for real. Ask about that key. Mug of beer. Careful. Hmm. Don't drop anything. Pick it up. In the crate here. Or two. Yep, nothing much. Face back here? No. Oh. If you have an alternative in mind, please do. Loose plank. Okay. Patience. Snowburst ring. Let's take all that real quick. Snowburst ring. When the wearer deals cold damage, they also create a 4.5 meter circle of ice around the target. A series of names have been scratched out, one after the other, on the inside of the ring. The last word untouched. It's not a name. It simply reads mine. A scribbled note. The journal's script is antiquated, but its pages look like they've barely aged. How much longer must I languish here? I'd hoped to be in Baldur's Gate a ten day ago, but that blasted toll house keeper won't accept my papers. When father hears about this, he'll be furious. There's something odd about this village. People skulk around like they've something to hide. The shrines to the Moon Maiden seem ill-tended and barren. I'd hope to learn more about Ketherick Thorm, the village's leader, but talk of him seems to put people on edge. I'm not sure what I can- I'm not sure I can bear another hour in this loathsome place. So this is a really old note. Yeah, the script is antiquated. Huh. Okay. Give that to Carlac. Stash these. Send them to camp. Come on, let's go. Let's see. Stow that away too. Good. All right. What now? Jayla's doing her best. He shows no signs. Yeah, an emerald ring. We can wait. Is this uh, free? But Baldur's Gate can't. If you have an alternative in mind, please do propose. These free things. Link. <laughs> For the taking. He may know a way Rotten banana. We don't even know if he'll ever Rotten lemon. But we do know that anyone who goes charging into those No, if they see that missing, they're gonna be like, there's been a thief around here. I don't think so. Rotten prison while Baldur's burned. Yeah. Baldur's great. We need a way into the tower. Glass chalice. 
A, ch a smooth chalice fabricated by gnome artisans. Any help from Jahira? She wants the same thing we do. To save the city. But she doesn't care if the Grand Duke lives or dies. I would Here. Her focus is on Got a quill. And I suspect Premium she's Oops, sent it to camp. Does. My bad. Daylight's doing her best. He shows Whoa. No signs of waking. Nozick I. Gazing glassily up at you, bereft of humanity, this bulbous eye evokes the gruesome curse of the Nothics. For they were not always monsters, but wizards who groped too greedily for power. Mud method wing. Okay. Send all these to Karlak. What I won't do okay. is send any more of our people into the curse. Any help from Jahira? Good. Okay, in this other room, it sounds like um, the people back at the place that was getting burnt down. What was it called? Something Pass? Okay. Well, I suppose when next we return, we'll go on in there and have a peek. Until next time, please... Take care of each other.